Ooh, this kind of feels harp. <coughs> White stoneware with no grog seemed to be a little bit softer. Hopefully, I can get that wedge book. Good. Um, I'm making quite a few things today, so I'm gonna have to wedge quite a lot. Probably just gonna go ahead and do this whole bag. Wedging is not my favorite part. <laughs> it's probably nobody's favorite part. Um, but this stuff is gonna be tough. Just getting it started is hard. And um, I have yet to master the spiral wedging, so I do the ram's head wedging instead, which works just as well. I feel like the spiral wedging leaves you in a better position to make your balls at the end. Um, this, I have to form it once I'm done wedging it quite a bit, but that's fine. This stuff's hard. <laughs> Struggle. It's going to be fun to cone on the wheel. I'm gonna get all of this wedged up <laughs> and then I will meet you guys at the wheel. Okay, I have gotten all of that clay wedged. I wedged about 25 pounds, actually 25 pounds. Um, so it was a little bit um, dry, so I had to incorporate water into each of my uh, balls here and then I have a plastic tub with some sheathing on top um, All of my balls are sitting in there just so I can uh, keep them moist um, and Just to go over what I have going on here um, The wheel I have my husband bought me off of Amazon. It's um, I'll see if I can show you um it is this one. It's got a 9.8 inch uh, wheel head on there. Um, and I know a lot of people think that it's not a good wheel. Um, I'm still new at this, as you know, but for me, it has handled everything that I have done. Um, it doesn't bog down with, um, any amounts of clay that I've put on it so far. I think I've gone up to three and a half pounds of clay and I put a lot of pressure on some of it. So um, it doesn't bog down at all. He did drill me some holes on here so that I can do uh, use bats, which he's making me some more bats. So today I'm just gonna be using the wheel itself. Um, I have this massive round piece of wood here um it's just something that we had i like to set it on the side of my wheel table here so that i can take the pieces off and put them on there um and then move them around as i need to this table my husband made me and i'll try and put a photo in there of it so i don't have to move the camera again um, but this table was built to match the specifications of this wheel plus my height. So um, it's sitting up off the ground. I don't know if you know about this wheel. It's very short. It's 13 inches tall. Um, so it would, I would be sitting on the ground to use this wheel otherwise. Um, so he made this table. It's, it wraps around the wheel, but it allows me room for my knees. 
which is great. And then I have my um, pedal underneath down here. Um, <clears throat> and then there's plenty of room on the sides to set all of my tools. I will show you that. I have all the tools that I frequently use. I keep a lot of rags because I'm very messy when I do this. Um, I have this large five gallon bucket just to throw the large pieces of clay. Um, I do tend to waste a lot of clay, um, not waste because it goes into a reclaim bucket, but um, I tend to have a, large, a lot of large chunks that come off and so those go into that bucket. Um, and then I have this for my water for my, and then my sponge. Um, those are the basic ingredients. Um, so since we've gotten all that out of the way, I can start throwing now. And <clears throat> I did bring a ruler over here this time just because I'm gonna be trying to make those shallow bowls for my mom. Um, and again, she wanted them roughly nine inches wide, three inches deep. And then if she wanted handles on them too, but that'll be another video because that'll be another day. Um, okay, so got my first ball here, pedal where I need it. And I'm gonna find a good solid point to smack that somewhat into the middle of the wheel, as close as I can. I need some water. I didn't want to stick. This is part of that. Um, learn from my <laughs> my mistakes thing. to take my finger around the base of the clay and squish it down a little bit just to adhere it to the wheel and um it's been like two weeks since i've thrown something so the first ball of clay is usually a wash because it takes me a minute to get back into the swing of coning it and then pulling the walls um which i still struggle with pulling walls maybe some of you can give me some advice and maybe I just need to watch more videos but this clay is very hard still which maybe somebody someone else doesn't have trouble with that but for me it makes it a little hard to calm that up starting to feel the frog in this stuff. I'm used to uh, no frog. Is my cord? That's what it is. My cord is stuck underneath my wheel. Let's move that. Like, why is it wobbling? Because there's the cord under there. So that's why it's wobbling. Better. Much better. Okay, coming in. See, this is where I just wasted so much clay because I, I don't know if I squished down too hard. Hopefully this will help incorporate some water back into it because it is tough. And if we have 
happening. Testing to see. Oh, some sort of a This is always where I can tell if I don't have it centered enough. Start, I can start feeling it. It's got a slight wobble in it. So like, now yeah, we're going with it. And then I'm terrible at uh, judging the thickness. weird to me to be talking to a camera and there's nobody here. When I'm YouTube famous, I'll get over it. I get to show these videos to my husband later and watch him laugh. <laughs> I don't know, is that just a me thing? I see some people who just like clean as they go. That doesn't make for a good video, watching me clean all this stuff. Helps my OCD a little bit though. Okay. Get some more water. And start cleaning. And I always am like, I don't know how to start pulling sometimes. Like, yeah, I've got my hands touching. I always get this like ribbon of clay that comes off. The thing is, I always end up with a nice or decent end product. I just wanna like perfect these little things so that I don't have to do as much um, cleanup later. You know, like I'm always doing extra trimming or the... and I keep like I always have this one spot when I make my pulls right here. <laughs> In the middle where it's thinner than the rest. Like I pause in that area every time. And I, even though I'm very conscious of it and I'm trying not to. See, I like to take the skirt off the bottom, put that into my big reclaim bucket. That way I have a, something to pull up, a space to pull up. And there's that one spot that's already thinner than the rest. <laughs> I don't think I made my baseboard enough. 
like the inside. Because it's a bowl. Shallow, a deep. Should I start it with a plate? Like start it as a plate. It's a really wide base. Mm. I should have watched some videos before I started this. too thin because I know I have to stretch it out. See my pools are not like solid pools. Arr. Y'all are learning with me. Learn from my mistakes, right? I don't expect this bowl to survive. It's my first one. Thing is, I don't go in with expectations, so I'm not disappointed. Okay. I like it. I'm pressing the bottom again since I stretched that out. Really want to avoid S cracks. The colander that I made. Uh did really well until I dra was drying it, obviously. Uh, thing is, I dried it upside down and it's full of holes all over it. It should dry evenly. And it's still cracked. I mended it. So we're gonna, once the kiln has cooled off enough, we'll see if it survived the firing. If my mend survived the firing. that too fast and now look okay I can feel it's slumping so my base I don't think was wide enough and yeah I know I messed it up but I'll fix it I will say been doing it since October, so four months now. Um, I've come a long way in four months. I've learned a lot. Uh, still have an enormous amount to learn, I know. Um, but I mean, I'm happy with what I've learned so far and the progress I've made. Now I'm just. I can post a video of, or a, not video, photo of the first mug that I made. <laughs> it's pretty rough. And then um, my most recent ones, which I love. I'm really enjoying um, carving into the mugs, carving patterns. Um, It's very satisfying. Like the kids, I have three kids. Um, they'll just be watching TV and I'll go in there and sit and carve while they're watching TV and I can still get to spend time with them and relax while I'm carving mugs. I don't know, it's been really nice. Okay, that's not bad. The walls are a little thick still, but we'll trim those later. I think they need to stay a little thick or um, they'll collapse, right? So I'm gonna take, that one fit. I'm gonna take this and uh, scrape some of the skirt off the bottom. So that's hopefully easier. And clean my tools.
bluff. I have been obsessed with finding the right tools for everything. And I like the shape of this. It's a Kemper Tools uh, rubber rib, but I wish there was a hole in it because it's very slippery once I get stuff on it and it's hard to hold on to. So I wish there was a hole on there just so I had better grip. I'm just getting some of the slip off the outside so I can hopefully remove it easier. One of the things I struggle with also is making too quick of movements, like that was too quick. And it made a small, where is that, somewhere, line, because I pulled off too fast. But, like I said, first pull. Okay. The removal process. I do not like this part, uh, which is why Hubby is going to be making me some bats for my wheel so that I don't ruin everything by taking it off the wheel. I try to take it off carefully, but clay is clay. Easily molded. And where's my wire? It's up there. How do you pause? I don't think you can pause. So where's my wire? my wire and what I like to do is squeeze a tiny bit of water on the back side of the wheel and as I'm cutting it'll pull some of that water through with it and I don't spin the wheel as I'm doing it um, I found that difficult <laughs> maybe that's just me but and this is the part I hate Well, Clay has memory, right? So, I did it. You can't see it, but. We're gonna go ditch mom. There I go. Cool. All right. One mug down, or mug. I'm so used to making mugs. One bowl down. carries three kinds of clay. The white stoneware with grog, which is what I'm using today. White stoneware without grog, which is what I like. And then red stoneware, which I have a 50 pound box of it, but I haven't tried it yet. Just cause every time I switch clays, I have to do the whole cleanup process. And I need another five gallon bucket for my reclaim for that clay. I don't have one yet. So today, that's why we're using this one. Um, and also my mom bought a while back, a uh, holds your ut a utensil holder for the kitchen. And she wanted me to make these bowls somewhat match that utensil holder and it had like a lighter speckled kind of clay so that's why i'm using this one i really like the red clay it's a beautiful color and um i have a coffee mug up there that i'm using which i'm not gonna get up and get it but uh it's the red clay with carving and then uh white underglaze uh wiped back and it looks so pretty i need to make some more of those i had a lot of people that wanted some after that Okay, this time we're gonna start with a wider base. Yeah, sounds a little thick. Doesn't matter how much you try to get it in the center. Down so it will stay. 
water. No, <laughs> stop. Yo. a messy craft. So messy. Since I'm stopped, that is eight 
8 inches. Not big enough. Alright, we'll get it. Okay, probably gonna pause here a minute. Try and get some of these thrown. Come on, I'll bore you to death. Like this one did not get centered very well. You can see all that wobbling. This clay is just probably not wet enough. Or unless this is just how frog clay is. I don't know. It's the first time I've used frog clay. Yeah, that's very wobbly. Should have spent more time cutting. today. I don't know if you can hear that. This shop um, a work in progress. My husband and I have put a lot of time into uh, getting this place how we need it and want it. Um, it started as like a carport slash garage in our backyard. Um, and we took the carport wall and moved it to the front so it's a fully enclosed building now um, but we have yet to get uh, sheathing and insulation in which we need especially it's during the winter it's been tough because it's I've had to bring all my supplies inside and after I'm done on the wheel I gotta bring things inside to dry because it's too cold and yeah, it's been a little difficult, but we're very grateful for the shop. It's given us um, a space to do all the things that we love, but it will continue to get better as we have the 
time and resources to invest in it and get it how we want. Stretch out. <laughs> ah, oh, it's slumping again. You know, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, really. Maybe I should stop here and watch a video or two. Hmm. You have to get frustrated with your pottery. Yeah. It flopped. Well, we knew that would happen once today. That was why it was important to keep the walls thick. And yeah, I didn't. Okay, we're gonna stop here. I'm gonna take a quick break. And come back and try again. Hopefully I will have something to show you guys later. Okay, attempt number three. I paused and I took some time to watch one video on YouTube. And my issue is that my base was not wide enough. So I'm gonna try and start with more of like a plate and then bring up the walls on the sides from there. Here we go. I always feel bad beating on the wheel. My first video is gonna be a blooper reel. Ugh. I'm just gonna round out the edges again because when I slam it down, I do not want a pocket of air underneath there. Do I need more water? Like, what's this? I really think it's, I'm used to working with. Um, more moist clay, and this clay is pretty tough. And I've introduced some water back into it already, and it's still. All right, get in there. Logging down, it's my foot on the pedal, not keeping even pressure. because I have a camera on. I don't usually struggle so much. Well, also, I'm usually only throwing mugs, which I'm decent at at this point.
I have like scrapes all over my arms from I'm tempted to just go with it, but uh, I'm trying to learn from my mistakes and cone it again. But it's so hard! What's the deal? not as graceful as the person I just watched. He used like his fist. It's a little easier. I keep wanting to turn the wheel up, but I think I need to. It's really thick right now. If I'm gonna post these videos with live audio or like speed them up and do a voiceover, put music to it, I don't know. I'm new. I'm gonna watch this and be like, just give up. <laughs> Here I am, boring of cleaning up. Needs to be done.
spent a long time smoothing out, compressing that air pocket. Nope, I can get it. to uh, uh, I don't know. trying to get the bottom to move on that the most shallow part of the bowl to be in the middle and I keep making a hump. Maybe I'm putting too much pressure with my outside finger. That's better. Okay. holes for the back pins are like right there. Not usually throw things with such a wide base on them.
cake. And, uh, decide what shape I want to. I think I want it a little bit more rounded here. She's not going to care if it's eight and a half, but my goal was nine, so... Getting this one off the wheel might be hard. Least favorite part. I don't think I can get it all. I really wish I had the bats. Nope. It's gonna get damaged. So I can't spread my fingers far enough to get it all. Ugh. It'll be a ruffled bowl by the time I get it off of here. Yeah. Play his memory. That's what I keep hearing. Maybe it'll shape up. I'm just sponging off my finger marks. And then trying to trying to put it back into a circle. Beginner mistakes, right? I don't know 
what? Doesn't look right. Hmm. Okay. We're not done. We got several more things to do. Okay. See you at the next one. Okay. We are back. We took a lunch break. I was getting pretty frustrated with the process earlier. <clears throat> I've made one, two, three, four, five things, and a couple of them probably just need to be rewedged. <laughs> we'll see. And I made coffee. This is the cup I was talking about with the red clay. We need coffee. Um, as I was eating lunch, I watched some more videos, and I really think the issue, well, many issues, but the one that's causing me the most problem is the fact that my clay is too hard. So I'm struggling to, uh, shape it. Um, I had two items flop earlier, so I set the, I scraped it off, set it to the side, um, and then I went over there and re-wedged those two things, and they're a little bit softer. This is one of them. So we'll see if my theory is right. I'm trying to get it into a sphere. <clears throat> Softer clay is any better. Really wish I had my bats ready to go. Because I keep deforming them as I'm taking them off the wheel. But whatever. Every time I like put it in the center, but as soon as I throw it down, it's awesome. so much nicer because it's more moist because I had freaking oh my gosh so much better cool
Ugh. Isn't that frustrating? Maybe I should just call it a day. Kiln is still at 327 degrees. Waiting. <laughs> so wobbly. Waiting on it to cool off so I can get my items from the bisque fire out. Well. Today's a rough day for this. I hate centering. Well, this, uh, it's not enough clay to make one of the bowls, so we're going to see what we can get out of it. It's not centered very well. I feel like I do better when I don't have the camera on. Pressing the bottom. wheel needs to cooperate with me. It's really my foot. You can see the wobble. Here's what it is. Oh, the 
This low battery.
go through a lot of rags. Cups are easier to remove. Bowls are not. I'm gonna get clay in my coffee. Okay, so I have been throwing for quite a while today. Um, I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> I've been getting pretty frustrated, but here's what I've come up with so far. Here's another. I was able to knock out one bowl, and those are gonna be cups, and though they look thick, um, they're gonna be trimmed quite a bit. And then these are the ones that I threw earlier. Um, None of them are quite what I'm looking for. I want this shape, um, but I want it wider. So I think my clay is um, just too hard to work with right now. So we're gonna have to rehydrate the clay or open a new batch or something. Um, also, waiting on the kiln to finish its at 2.56 right now, so I still can't open it for a little bit. Um, once that's open, I will take a video of that and some of the glazing process. We'll see you soon. <laughs> 